Hey YouTube, Brad C here. This is my Lipsy's Edition Glock 19. Now I wanted to put a laser on this and I've been looking around and I believe I have found the perfect one. This is the Arma Laser GTO and it comes with a flex switch. Now this is optional. Now I actually came across Arma Laser because I was getting a laser for a different gun. Now this will be a separate review. This is a Sky CPX2 and this is the Arma Laser. This is the green edition. I did a lot of research into this company and I actually found a video online that they didn't even know existed. Gabriel Ruse, but he actually used an Arma Laser laser on a Glock 19 to actually stop an intruder. And it's pretty cool because it shows the actual laser going right on the guy's face. And the guy's like, okay, no problem. He gets down the ground and he's just completely subdued. Now the laser used in that video is actually the Stingray Classic. Now you can see here it has a ultra slim profile. It's, it's still known as the, the world's slimmest laser. So that's a pretty cool laser in itself. And I thought about going with that one, but I believe this, it, having the pressure sensor switch is going to be the better of the two. And I contacted Arma Laser and they were straight up with me. They said that, you know, this one, it is sold about 70 to 1. So, I mean, this one is obviously still there and they still sell it because it's a real slim addition, but everybody's kind of transitioning to the touch switch. Okay, we'll just do a little unboxing here and uh, we'll see what's in here. It's always nice to see how they package these. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's take a look at everything that came with it. We have a warranty card. Just the foam it came in. Here's some parts and I assume an Allen wrench looks like. And here we have the actual laser itself. And there's a warning in here. Do not rotate hex key more than one full turn either direction. See step eight. So that must be rather important. Here we have the battery comes with it. And this is really nice. This is heavy duty stock cardboard. And it's kind of like an accordion type thing. It shows you step by step in really nice pictures and explanations how to actually install this. I'm going to show what was in this little bag. You have two screws, two little Q-tip looking things. I believe these are the battery cover. This is something that Arma Laser puts out and you can actually put this on your Glock if you think you can't remember to make sure you do avoid direct eye contact from a laser. Obviously this is probably just a disclaimer and you know it's in their best interest. I myself am probably going to avoid that although it might look kind of cool on there. Now remember you can use this without the actual flex switch if you choose. So we're going to try both ways. Okay, I just wanted to show you how it looks on the gun. It's very low profile for a laser, I will say that. As you can see here, it's got a sensor that you just touch. When you do, the laser comes on. Now, I'll touch it and turn it off. Okay, I want to show you how this works in a natural pickup. When you pick up a gun, obviously you don't put your finger on the trigger. You always put your hand in a safe mode. When you do, it automatically touches that point, and now you've got your laser on. Now, if I touch the sensor again, laser goes off. On, off, on, off. And it makes a really nice way to access your laser. I mean, literally the touch of your finger causes the laser to come on. It's a nice bright laser. I've got the lights on in here and it's still looking really bright. Love the setup. I'm gonna actually have to move this laser forward though. That's the problem. For the Glock 19, that needs to be right there. So that makes the grip a little bit further. I mean, you could still do it, but for a natural grip, I want it to be a little bit closer. So just one less thing to have to think about. So I think the flex switch is gonna be optimal. I'm gonna use this sensor. So I'm gonna remove the this laser and we're going to go to step four on this which is installing the grip touch mode. Now keep something in mind once you put this touch activated switch on here there's no going back. It's done. Okay, took my tape off, now I'm gonna open it up. Okay, inside is a little wipe looks like and here is the actual activation switch. Now, let's test this baby app. Wow, that is sweet. Okay, I wanted to show you how this laser works. Now, with this grip activation, as soon as I actually either draw my weapon or pick it up off the table, whatever, as you see, the laser just automatically comes on. I didn't even have to think about that. I didn't have to, like, squeeze in on a button. I didn't have to do anything. It's literally a sensor. It's right here. Right here is a little sensor. And as soon as that is touched with human skin, any part of my skin, the touch right here where your battery is stored, there's a little hole here. And and that is where you can change this to pulsating if you'd like. And the instructions are all come with this. But basically you're going to put this in and you're going to push it and you're going to click it twice and it'll change to pulsating beam. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. One. Two. You can see it works the same exact way. When you grip it, it puts a pulsating laser up there. You can see it on the black screen now, moving around. That I personally don't like the pulsating, but they say it's quicker to acquire a target. I don't know. I just like the, the regular laser. But you have the, the option. You can have either. So let's say you want to target practice with this, and you don't want the laser to come on, period. Well, you can turn the laser off. Simply hold in for two seconds on the little button. Click. One, 
to and off. And now it will not come on. Laser is turned off, as you can see. Touching the sensor, nothing's happening. Okay, I'm going to set mine back to a steady beam, so now I'm going to click it four times. One, two, three, four. And steady beam. I'll show you here. Make sure you can see. Just a steady beam. Final thoughts, I love this little laser. I mean, this is absolutely perfect. I mean, this sensor here is a major upgrade to any kind of a touch system up here. I don't care what you have. I mean, if you have to fool with trying to, to hit anything, you know, this is just a grip activated. Now, I've reviewed some lasers before that have a little button here that you have to push in, but you have to hold in on that button where the laser goes off. So you have to hold in on that button while you're trying to squeeze the trigger and, you know, you, you've got this hand here trying to push in on the button and then this finger trying to pull the trigger and it's just, it's a mess. In a high stress situation, you do not want to do that. You just want to be able to grip this gun up and boom, that laser comes on. Okay, stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to obviously be testing this out in the field and we're going to make sure that it stays true and holds zero. From what I've seen in the reviews online though, Arma Laser is a top quality laser. I mean, their reviews on Amazon are bar none, some of the best out there. If you've got a Glock 19, I highly suggest this. You know, I'm really picky about look. You know, it just looks really nice to me. I like the looks of it. I mean, I, I, it has that two-tone look. I uh, kind of like the, the little GTO red there, just a little touch of red. And the sensor, it looks sweet. So I don't have any complaints about the looks. And I love the feel of it. I mean, I, I can't believe how nice that is. This is my bedside gun. And I, I just love to realize that as soon as I grip that up, it's going to be on and it's ready. I just want to add that the brightness of this laser is very impressive. Just want to give you a shot of another Arma laser laser. This is for my Sky CPX2 little sensor right here. This is a green one. I do a full review on this. You can check it out on my channel, but uh, really nice. Thanks for watching, and you can check me out at bradctv.com.